I'm Sal. I'm Beth. We are the brewery lovers here to tell you about. We were on our way to Ocracoke, another video, right? Uh huh. Oh, and on our way back. On our way in and our way back. Yeah, on our way back. So we found some breweries on the mainland of eastern North Carolina, and some of them are pretty darn good. Yep. This one was adorable. It's right on the Pamlico River. It's called Pitt Street. It's an old. um, It's in Washington, North Carolina. Washington, yeah, thank you. It's an old boathouse. You can see the, um, you can see the boat. What do you call those things? I forget what they're called. <laughs> boat garage. Yeah, it looks like a boat garage. They also had these painted crabs around town. Must have been one of those. Well, a lot of towns have like mascot animals that get painted. They get painted. Yeah, yeah. sharks, cows. We've seen all kinds of animals. We have. Cute place. Beer was okay. Uh, decent little portfolio. And this is the deck. But a great location, literally, w- yeah. right, right on right the on river. The... So there was decking out over the river. There was a beer garden. It was just an adorable place and a really cute town. You can see they left the one uh, boat thing. It was the Pamlico Rowing Club in the 60s and 70s. Right, back in the day. Cool place. Beth has a beer. Hey, how come we don't have beer? You ready? <laughs> what do you got? I have. Here, you want to hold it up? You have um, Western North Carolina. No, where's this? Yeah, this is from Asheville, right? Yep. It is Wicked North Carolina. Wicked Weed, oh, Asheville, Wicked North Weed. Carolina. This is one of our favorites called Pernicious. Perny Hayes. Oh, this is the Hayes one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. The, Pernicious is also very good. Yeah. This is the hazy this one. The I hazy. like this one probably even better. I'm going to let you open it. In case anybody didn't know, Sal can open cans. This has come up before. <laughs> Sometimes I can. Thanks. You have a uh, River Horse glass. River Horse is celebrating its 10th anniversary at its Ewing location. Is that right? Uh-huh. Wow. River Horse is near Trenton, New Jersey. Started out in Lambertville. They moved to a bigger facility. It's really big now. Tasting room's not very big. But the brewery is ginormous. Yeah, you could play football in there. I got foam on my nose. It's very attractive. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I'm not getting much aroma because there's the foam is so thick. But it'll come. I when do that, when I the foam settles fruit. down. What do you get? Yeah, your nose is way better than mine. Yeah. There's a lot of suspended Pops. stuff in there. Stuff. Hope it's hops. Yeah, it's definitely hops. It's pretty yummy. Looks like frog eggs, but <laughs> hopefully it's not. I don't think it's frog eggs. It's very um, clean and dry. That's what I like about it. It's obviously very well carbonated. Yeah. The big hit of foam. It's great beer. carbonation. Yeah, it's a nice looking beer. You so what did we? Again? Yeah, what did we like over at Pitt Street? Uh, we had the Code of Conduct, Conduct Hazy. And we had a West Coast IPA called Still H.O.P. We had the Oktoberfest and Mango Chill Mango Lime Cerveza. So I I guess it was a Mexican lager. That was the one that I kind of liked. As I said, the beers were okay. The the location was great. Beers were okay. But that mango, I remember that mango lime was nice. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely worth a visit just for the spot. Also in the same town is a brewery called Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog was in Winterville. Oh, was that in Winterville? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought they were both in Washington. My bad. Also, and, uh, in another town <laughs> <laughs> called Winterville, there's a brewery called Naughty Dog. <laughs> uh, cute place. Lots of brick. Nice little uh, comfy sofa room here. Their tagline or subhead, what do you call it? Writer man. Naughty Dog Brewing Company. And then underneath it says, sit Stay, drink. Yeah. Uh, tagline. Yeah, tagline. We, we've seen that before. Um, it's a dog place in Philly. They do the same thing. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of that bar in Philly? It'll um, come to me. Um, black dog? No. No. Uh-uh. White dog? <laughs> no. Gray dog? Spotted dog? Mm-mm. Dog bar? Yeah, some dog bar. <laughs> I'm always amazed when I see a brewery that clean. Very tidy brewery. Spotless. The beer was okay. It was solid. 
And this place opened in January of 2020. And I'm just grateful for every small business that opened up at that period in American history and was able to make a go of it. Oh, they opened in 20. They opened uh, January 2020, and then the world shut down two months later. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, God bless them that they made it through. Yeah. So what did we like at Naughty Dog? We had a flight, and the, we had the Kilt Lifter Scottish Ale. <laughs> Great name for it. Yeah, that was cute. <laughs> kind of uh, goes with the whole Naughty Dog theme. Um, we had a New England IPA called Bedrock Killer. We had a Doppelbach called Lawbreaker. And an IPA called Double Dog. So nice. I guess it was a double Must IPA. Must have been a double, yeah. Yeah, beers were, beers were okay. Yeah, cute branding. Sweet place. Yeah, it was a nice, nice spot. Really a very comfortable hang. Watch this. And they have Cornhole. Watch this. I like to play Cornhole. <laughs> Boom! In the hole. <laughs> <laughs> She's really good at it, too. Don't well, ever, like, challenge her to cornhole, because you could probably lose. It's a thing that frequently breweries have. True. So it's a game I get to play. Mm -hmm. And Connect Four. If you Connect like, Four. If you I don't like, like Connect Four, and I don't like Jenga. If you but like they Connect frequently Four, have every both. brewery has a Connect Four. I don't like things that, at the end of the game, everything falls and rattles. Makes a lot like of noise. That, but... This place, um, uh, don't judge a book by its cover, a totally nondescript brewery. Absolutely nothing to say about it in terms of ambiance, architecture, <laughs> design. <laughs> Almost like a generic microbrewery, but boy, was the beer good. This place is rated over four on Untapped. And the beer is superb. And what's interesting about local oak, look how tiny the brewery is. Uh, every time you go there, it's different. They don't, yeah. they rarely make the same beer twice and they, it doesn't last. So if you find something you like there, you got to drink it and enjoy it because next time you go, it won't be there. <laughs> it's like shopping at Ollie's. <laughs> or a thrift store. <laughs> yeah. Cute place. Uh, really beautiful bar, actually. It's Live Edge Wood Bar. Mm -hmm. And I, I really, it was a nice hang. We enjoyed it a lot. Um, but the appearance of the place does not belie the quality of the beer, which we find quite frequently. We right. go to these absolutely drop-dead gorgeous places, and the beer is barely yeah. drinkable. <laughs> or just only good, not great. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, you don't know. Some, I guess some brewery owners focus on the beer, and some focus on the ambiance. The, uh, yeah. It's nice when you get a combination where they're both great. Yeah, it's great when you get both. So we had a flight. We had a flight. We had an English pale called League of Ordinary Gentlemen. Mm -hmm. We had an IPA called Wanted to be ha Haunted. Uh, another IPA, there's a surprise, Faded to Pretend, and a dry stout called Workman's Wages. Yeah, they were uh, right down the middle and then then some. They really were excellent and uh, nicely made beers, and they, they do a real nice job. And I like this system where they um, let you fill out a, your own kind of flight stuff so you can read your own handwriting you hand <laughs> it's not like a you know a, an abbreviation yeah, of somebody what? else's handwriting it's funny that you mentioned that because i was looking at that and thinking that looks exactly like beth's handwriting so because that it was, it was your handwriting they just give you a pen and a piece of paper and you fill out your own flight that explains it. i like that yeah fun place great beer definitely worth a visit all right this was a real <laughs> surprise <laughs> I'm laughing because this place was so quirky and funky. I really loved it. The beer was way better at Local Oak. I mean, that that's a four-something on Untapped. This place is not, but it was just really fun. We had a great time. We had a there. great time. That staff was awesome. The place was really nice. The beers were unusual and fun. Uh, the little tiny tasting room. Roast popcorn. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They had a popcorn <laughs> machine. Little tiny tasting room. Dog-friendly. Um, and the beers were quirky. The place was quirky, and the beers were quirky, which is kind of what I liked about it. Beer tender, Carolyn, she was great. <laughs> she, her name was kind of upside down on the board, which I'd be like, I like this place. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> this is cute. Beer school. Water plus barley plus hops plus yeast equals beer. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's basically it. Yeah, there's some steps that go in there, but... The flight rack was adorable. Not only was it the uh, lumber mill theme, but they also pronounced Beaufort the way 
they pronounce Beaufort in, in North, North Carolina. Carolina. In South Carolina, it's pronounced Beaufort. Correct. Yeah. Same spelling. Same spelling. Different pronunciation. And from what we hear, Beaufort, North Carolina, is adorable. But we didn't see it because we got there. It was dark. We got there late and, and we, we left, left early. And we left at like crack of dawn. So we did not see the town. But we love, love, love this little brewery. <laughs> this yeah, is definitely a hidden gem. This town, the town is over 300 years old. I think it's the third oldest established town in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And one of the beers we had, um, which was called Girl in a Rum Barrel, was apparently a reference to somebody who's buried in a... 300 year old cemetery right in the middle of town oh wow nice so but what really caught my eye was bloody mary kolsch it was called bloody what was it called bloody 34 or uh, something? bloody 34 and i was like mm, that sounds really not good <laughs> but i ordered it and i absolutely <laughs> loved it i was like oh my god it tasted it tasted like a bloody mary and it was pale like it wasn't red unfortunately no brewers around we were there late we closed the place I have no idea how they did it. <laughs> no. How you get tomato flavor yeah. without any redness. And I've had conversations with brewers. Like, how would you do that? And they were like, mm, no idea. No idea. And Could have been an extract or don't know. It was really good. <laughs> it was really fun. We're, it, we, it was a while since we were there. We're still talking about the Bloody Mary Coles. Fun place. What else? Um, we had the... Um, girl in a rum barrel. Right, right. You mentioned that. Uh, yeah, that was uh, aged on juniper. Mm -hmm. So it was really? a very wow. yeah. Uh, so it was a very interesting flavor. Um, and we had the Bloody Mary Kolsch and a Scottish ale. I guess I was on a Scottish ale kick then. Um, kilted Natterjack. Yeah. Interesting name and a wet hopped IPA called Old Plain. Mm -hmm. Old Plain again, the sawmill reference. Yeah, really fun place, really cool vibe. Beers were good. Great and town. We, we just had a great time there. I would I would go back there in a heartbeat, but it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> well, unless you're coming off the ferry in Overcoke, yeah, that's how we discovered it. Um, and it's not that far because we came terminal. off. We can't. We the took... lower, the most southern ferry terminal. There's more than one way to get to Ocracoke. We must have taken the late ferry. And we did. When we came out, it was and dark. It was and dark. We, we were tired. And we were, yeah, we were looking for a beer. And it was it was a great stop. It was a great stop. It really was. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Cheers. Check them all out. Good stuff. Cheers.